Hey guys, Snake Eyes 66613 here. I'm going to be doing a care sheet video for the basic Chilean rose hair style of triantula. We'll be throwing out some facts that you might need to know and some general knowledge and background information if you're looking to get a spider. There are four well known species of Gramosostola, but the first one I'll be reviewing is the Gramosostola rosea or the Chilean rose hair. They have a blackish browny coat with a pinkish top and they don't get very big just like the rest of the species. It's probably about 5 to 6 inches leg to leg span. Uh, they're a docile slow moving species of spider. Uh, people quite like them because they're terrestrial, you don't need to have quite a big vivarium. Um, they're very calm, they're good to hold but they don't enjoy being handled and it's not good for their health. That's the only downside but they are probably one of the best handling spiders. They can have mood swings and go a bit bitey but it's not that well known for them to do that. Uh, I would always recommend these guys to start, um, but some people say they're boring because they don't really move or climb much. Uh, apart from this, I'd say they're probably nearest to the most ideal spider, although there is actually no ideal spider, it all depends what you like. I would always recommend something from the uh, Gramosostola genus. The next Gramosostola is Gramosostola portier. This is the uh, Chilean red phase. It's basically the uh, same spider, well it's exactly the same apart from the morph. It's just a better looking spider and apparently they're a bit more active and a bit more fast, a bit more rapid, which some people like. It'll give a bit more of a adept spider feel. Um, the males of these are known to be a bit more aggressive than ordinary chili males, but uh, that's pretty much all you need to know is they have a more exciting molt and coat to look at. Then comes exactly the same case with the spider that was actually my first spider. Uh, they're pretty much a little bit faster and a little bit more active. The males of these are meant to be the most docile out of all of them. Uh, they're quite good for handling, but they do get big rather quickly. Uh, and the morph is a little bit better than the red phase, if you think that. They've got a reddish back, but a kind of whitey zebra colour legs. And this is the uh, chili red zebra, or the uh, Gramosostola sp conceptus. Now here is the uh, Eleutherius SP Red or the Chilean Flame. I would always recommend these guys because they have that kind of charcoal blue look from the flame at the back. They're a much more exciting triantula. They're a lot quicker. They are really good to handle. Probably one of the best, probably the best chili to handle. But also they're a little bit more exciting. They climb a lot. They wander around, you know. They're not the sort of, you don't get the kind of boring just sitting around with a chili. I would always recommend going for one of these guys. This is my personal seal of approval. Um, it's pretty much the same. They're less bitey than the other two, but they're a bit faster, I'd say, when they get running. Uh, males, I, I think they're quite docile, about as do the same docile as like ordinary Gramosostola rosa, but these guys would be my personal recommendation for a first triantula. But if you don't like the colour, I'd say go for one of the others. I mean, you're basically getting the same thing with all of them, just this guy's a little bit more climby, you know, they're a bit better. Um, the same thing, six to six, five to six inches leg span, you know. Another good thing about chilies is they don't need that much space. This is the uh, Exoterra Invertebrate Kit. This is perfect for a starter spider like a chili. It's not too big. I mean, the light might be a bit unnecessary since spiders don't really like light. But I mean, just bung one in there and it should live quite happily in there for most of its life. But this is probably only for chilies and other small terrestrial species of spider. If you go for something else, you're going to need to get for something bigger. But Exoterra are one of my favourite vivs and I recommend this kit personally. When it comes to substrate, Pro Rep's uh, Spider Life is a brilliant substrate. It's a basic peat substrate with a little bit of stuff to puff it up. Uh, spray it so the spider can drink straight off of the sub if it requires it and use about an inch or two in a basic uh, Chilean rose hair type uh, enclosure. Uh, it doesn't need to be changed that often, but as I'd say, do a big change once at least every month. Uh, it's a multi-environment substrate, so it is an absolutely excellent substrate and uh, it would get my personal uh, seal of approval again. In uh, your vivarium, you're going to need a few things. I'd recommend uh, a place for the spider to hide, maybe two. Uh, half logs are always quite good, apart, but they can kind of uh, go a bit mouldy underneath when you've got a spider, so I'd watch that. Um, coconut, uh, half coconut shells and things like that are really good as well. Spiders love to hide amongst these things. Uh, another good thing to involve is like a little bit of uh, false plant life, like the Exoterra series, but uh, this can give your uh, life food a place to hide. Uh, got a picture coming up, any of these would be perfect for a uh, little spider enclosure, but um, apart from that I've got to say that's all you really need. One thing I will mention is uh, do not use bug gel, um, some spiders can have trouble opening and eating this gel, some will do fine on it, some won't, but uh, you wouldn't like to find out the hard way if your spider's dehydrated. Just get a small bowl, prop it up with a few pebbles so the spider can walk over it, 
the spider will web over it so it's easy for them to walk and drink and uh, just replace this water quite regularly to stop the build up of bacteria and uh, your spider should just drink over off the sub or from the bowl when it's ready it's uh, quite a simple process really Another thing guys is live food. Uh, spiders love locusts, you just got to make sure it's the right size to kind of go with your spider. Uh, they also like things like cockroaches when they get bigger and their teeth get more powerful, they love to eat those. Um, some of them do like to chase around the little wax worms, which you'll see here, they like kind of flop around on the floor and your spider likes to eat them. But you've got to feed them uh, four or five prey items a week, you can feed them all at once or you can feed them one at a time. Spiders can fast for a full week or they can just kind of fast for a little while, but they will eat when they're ready to. Another thing guys is don't take all your information from me. Although I am trusted and I'm telling you guys all the right information, this book here is the bible for a tarantula keeper. Uh, it will tell you everything you need to know, how to handle, if you want to handle. Uh, it will tell you pretty much anything you could think of, medical problems if they do have them. Uh, always shop around and look at different uh, people for spiders. I mean if you want to ask me personal questions just message me on my YouTube channel. Um, if you use guides like this your spider should have a longer and healthier life generally. Similar to snakes, spiders have to shed basically their skin, but they do this in a different way called molting. They roll onto their back and they'll stay there for a little while, maybe just moving about a little bit, and uh, they'll just push themselves out of their old skin like you can see here, and they'll just leave their old skin where it is and they'll just wander off and leave it alone. Now, um, if you find a spider laying on its back, roll it over by its leg and make sure that the body is still in the bag, because if it isn't, don't worry, the spider's not dead, it's just molted and it's somewhere else. Um, they shed everything it, like apart even their fangs so I mean it's quite an awesome little thing to have when you get one of their little uh, molts but um, from the molt you can tell what sex they are and generally you can tell by an adult uh, male or female because of their abdomen size adults are smaller females are bigger but um, this sort of thing is just an incredible thing just like with the snake shed in the skin it kind of gives you a, a little gift as I've heard some people say for uh, looking after it and it's just a little cool thing that lasts for a while Another thing guys is handling. I can't generally recommend that you handle your spider because of uh, the danger risks and the legal risks. Uh, handling a spider is pretty awesome and if you do want to do it you've got to make that decision by yourself. Uh, always make sure the spider is comfortable with that and get them to move by uh, ticking them on the back legs. I have done handling videos if you want to watch a couple of them, including one of the first time handle for my friend. Um, only problem with spiders is, as you know, they have two large fangs underneath them. Um, to most people, a chili and rose hair, the bite is quite painful, a little bit annoying but it won't do much harm. Um, people can be allergic to the uh, neurotoxic venom they have. If you are allergic, there is a chance that you might die. So watch out. If you're allergic to bee stings and things like that, I would watch it very carefully when you're holding a spider. If you're not, you've just got to chance it and see what happens when you get bit. Uh, there is a high possibility that you're going to get bit when I know a spider, I won't lie, but I mean, it's all part of the hobby, you know? Same with snakes and same with most lizards, to be honest. Last thing I'll quickly run by is webbing. Most spiders will web outside of their burrow to kind of like alert them if prey goes past. This isn't a chili, it's a cobalt blue. They don't web that much. Uh, the most that web out of them is uh, probably the Chilean flame, uh, a Lutherius SP red. Uh, webbing's quite cool, I've had uh, spiders do it on my arm. They won't web this heavy, that's more of an adept spider, a cobalt blue. But uh, it's nothing to be afraid of and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the guide. Um, any questions, ask me and for any new videos just comment below.